Hello, my name is Guido van der Graaf and welcome at this CBI tutorials on how to create a successful tourism website. This section is about how do you secure a booking with your itinerary in your experience page. Itineraries. Not an easy task to accomplish. It, there is a lot of information that you need to send to your customer to make sure that everybody understands what you are actually offering and that they understand the terms and conditioning conditions. Uh, if they uh, like the track, if they see that other people also like the track and how you uh, are going to customize or sell a, a track for your customer. So a lot of information, it all needs to be presented in an easy to understand way where you want to let come back, inspire, grab somebody's attention, make sure that somebody feels that they are on the right place, help, prove, and sell. A good example of company who is doing that pretty nicely is the former CBI company responsible tracks from Nepal. And if you see, they really nicely inspire with beautiful photos. You see people in the photos, and so I feel attracted to it. And I kind of, if I like mountains and I see this and I think, yes, this is something that could be for me. Also note that they really put the focus on the beautiful uh, photo. Hey, the menu and things that all fall a little bit away. So that you would think like, but then you don't really see the menu, but that's exactly the idea because when you scroll down, then suddenly the menu changes the color and there you have a, a, a more easy access to the different menus. But then you've already scrolled down and that's exactly what they want because they want you to learn more about that track. So we're inspired. We uh, want to know more now we need to be help so they try to do that in an easy um, first uh, uh, first fact table let's call it like that where you find some quick facts about what i actually i'm going to buy and if this is something um, for me with an activity level so this is moderate so i think i can do that so this could be something to me and i also look at uh, what other people think about it 4.8 wow well this must be a really cool track also note here that it's very easy to share with my friends or my wife um, about this track. Hey, listen, I found this. Uh, what do you think about it? And then we scroll further down. Um, we have a uh, easy uh, book now and a request button. Um, here, there's no price. I'm not really sure why they didn't do that here in this itinerary. But then also think if there's no price, maybe you don't want that book now button and you want to fully focus on the request to customize. If you don't need a certain button, don't use it. Then they have the trip highlights. What they could have done is to make it a little bit more clear, maybe use bullet points eh, so that you can quickly extract what is actually why I should um, uh, be here. Um, then they have the uh, itineraries, nicely done day by day. What would have been nicer is to even add a, a page and note if you scroll this down and here this menu is sticky. So that helps you to quickly go to, uh, to another part of this page. Also note that in a uh, mobile phone that will work a little bit different, but on a desktop this is a interesting way of making it easy for your customer has yeah, so more information about the details and um, if that was not enough then I get and it's also a little bit acting of trust picture of the owner if you have anything to ask me then this is how you could contact personally what I would have added is here more uh, a uh, review blog with maybe a uh, previous clients sharing with a big quote what they like so much about um, responsible tracks. So to put a little bit more of that um, element in it. And maybe they could also another time put this sustainability part here with just another block. Okay, this is a sustainable track. Just to put that extra emphasis on it because you not I'm really sure if everybody saw that travel life partner 
a logo here. When we're looking at product pages, the product page of World Expeditions is some one of the one, one of the product pages I really like. It's just like uh, Responsible Tracks, which I think is inspired on this page. It starts with inspiration, which you should also do, right? You should first need to have beautiful photos that um, suck your persona into this product. Like, okay, wow, this is something for me and preferable. You also have photos of that persona experiencing key experiences during the trip. So they do that um, very nicely. Um, you also see some photos um, if you would see, uh, uh, go through the whole slide. I'm not sure if I would put so many photos in a slider. I think if you're already using a slider, use maximum three because otherwise um, it takes some time to load and who's gonna uh, uh, stay here? You want people to go down. So maybe you even only want to have one photo in your slider. Um, what they also do think uh, do pretty good is people have maybe concerns. They immediately think about their concerns. Hey, hello. Um, we have uh, flexible terms and conditions. You can um, book stress-free with us. Um, read more about that here. Um, then they show um, the, what it's actually about with the help of pictograms. So I can very quickly see here if this is something for me. Okay, there's a good rating. It's not that difficult. How long does it take? What is included in the price roughly? Eh? So how many nights of accommodations do I get? How many meals do I get? And I get an end price. Then they give me arguments. And this is something I think you should also do. I think arguments are a little bit backdated. They're very much still into Corona time. Um, but flexible uh, cancellations, COVID-19 measures, remote awareness. I would maybe put this more about the product in your company not so much purely related to um, COVID-19. Then you want to do the highlights of your trips so I can quickly understand okay what do I actually get during this trip. What World Expedition is doing is they give quite a lot of bullet points. points. I would reduce this a bit. Also notice here the 100% carbon offsets of where uh, we are sustainable so this is an important uh, communication. Also note it's easy to download if you later want to read this back. And it's also easy to share with your friends. Uh, also note that there is a table here that is sticky. So if I go down, this table stays here and I can quickly go back to the information that um, I want to see. So oh, what was it again about? I click on overview and I'm back at the top. And then they give the itinerary. I think how you could improve this is by adding some photos that would make it nicer. They have a map, so that shows me, um, yeah, well, where are we going? What is um, uh, happening in this case? Because they also do a lot of tracking. What is the elevation? I don't think that's um, very relevant for most of you. What is included? What is um, uh, excluded about your leader? Um, they give an uh, overview what kind of accommodations I could expect, uh, the departure dates, and proof. And what do other people think of this? And um, then they said, okay, was this nothing for you? Then maybe this is something for you for related articles. Now there's one thing that I really think you should do better. And that is the sales part, because here I can go to other parts while they actually need to close the sale. Now, how could I have done that? They could have done that by making this ask an expert maybe in another column so that this was a little bit more noticeable for me so that it was easier for me to click on. But also maybe by making this on we go to the top, by making this one more sticky or let it change. So you could do that if I go here down, can get into contact with it, with us, for example, here under this carbon offset. Or if I go more down, then that's not contact us, but after the itinerary, for example, so let's go down to the itinerary, that you could have, okay, book with us. 
So a little bit more call to actions, a little bit more help to drive people to your booking form is what I suggest. But further, it's quite a nice way of presenting all that information that a traveler needs. For day tours, um, can't the same as the uh, other pages that we talked about. We need to inspire with beautiful photo your main persona. So I would have improved this picture with uh, somebody on the cart driving in front of the most beautiful uh, pagoda in Bagan. Um, not the situation where uh, the cart is waiting for a customer. Um, people who are already in the country might book day tours with you. So you're competing with OTAs who have direct booking. Um, but if people are already in the country and maybe they have seen you, maybe the chance that they dare to book with you is higher. So a direct booking for day tours could work where that is much more difficult for multi-day tours. Um, if you uh, use an inquire now function, you have to be super fast because for day tours, I might book in the morning and I want to go in the afternoon. So this is um, about speed. So very good also is here then that you have an option to directly chat. Of course, then you need to make sure that you are available. So we're inspired and we need to be helpful. Okay, what do I actually uh, get in this tour? Where do I go? And um, try to give the highlights in advance. Okay, why should I actually go on this tour? Use verbs. Huh? Um, be amazed by the beauty of uh, the thousands of pagodas in Bagan, for example. Um, prove here nice, okay, how many uh, people um, do like me and what do they think? Preferable about the tour. Oh, we're also sustainable, so that is um, nice. Now here, I wouldn't do that. Checking um, to go to other tours. Why is that? Because I want people to book. I don't want to help you know, people to another book. Oh, oh, maybe I should go this. No, you want people to book. So make them focus. Try them to do as less as possible. And there's also for the case for the sharing buttons, you want people to be able to share with friends because, hey, I saw this day experience. Um, are you going to join with me? But do you really want them to be so prominent here? Or is your main focus, you no, know, I want them to click on here. I want them to click on that. So the more choices you give to people, um, yeah, the, uh, the more difficult it becomes that they actually going to book with you. So try to really push them to a booking. And of course, a lot of people have this menu sticky, which I also recommend always so that people have like their, their anchor from where they can go back. Oh. Um, here's our inclusions, exclusions, um, all the things that you need to know. This is all part of, of, being, um, of being helpful. And then we are already um, back with back with the footer. An interesting presentation of an experience is done by Celia. They almost do it in a kind of a blog form, and here they um, they show the great migration of the wildebeest. So this is an, um, a, a very interesting wildlife experience, and they show, yeah, they follow the kind of the same format like we have been discussing: inspire, help, prove, and sell. Though in their case, they um, they didn't do the proof um, very well, or maybe even not at all. Um, but they start with the inspiration. Beautiful opening picture of the highlight of the experience, uh, sitting in the middle of a Graham Drive, surrounded by thousands of wildebeest. So really nice, good inspiration. Then they do a small textual introduction of what that actually is. Maybe I would have used some bullet points here, what actually really is the highlights of this experience to make it better. Note that they give a lot of information and they do that to make sure that they get more visitors from Google because the more information they give, the better Google understands what it is about. But of course, if you put a lot of text on your website and you also make, need to make sure that your website is still interesting to go through. So you need to combine that lot of text with a lot of beautiful photos 
or videos. And here's something interesting what they do is they put index links to what kind of content you can expect further in the text. And so what is the great migration actually or frequently asked questions? Now, I find it really bit funny because they actually also have a nice menu here. So I probably would have done only the menu. I think this is a little bit double. Um, the reason they probably did this is for SEO reasons because they have then a nice internal link within the text. Okay, what is a great migration in there? You can then read about the great migration and then Google things. Okay, this article is answering the question, what is the great migration, which might help you to put um, your website into Google if people ask, for example, what is the great migration. Now, so they didn't only present the experience, they also really tried to optimize it for SEO. But they also use a lot of different kind of content, which is also really good for SEO. So for example, they have a video. And you can download an ebook. Um, now, sometimes it's not that easy to, to use an ebook and also be interesting. But um, if you do that and have people who are not yet ready to book, but would like to know much more about, for example, your destination, or if you do history or something that is fascinating about uh, Bagan, for example, you could write an in-depth um, ebook that you give away for free, but then what they need to give in return is an email address. So then you have an email address and with that email address you can send newsletters for example and build up your relation and so they give more information also um, show you what's happening where and when which helps you to plan your um, plan your trip and they keep on continuing with the beautiful photos it's it's almost like a blog displaying nice videos oh. uh, put some nice information in a, in a graphic and of course Google can see that that is an informational graphic so Google recognizes how oh, there are different kind of multimedia experiences on this website which probably makes it interesting for the reader to go through it so you get more SEO points in the website will probably rank higher and then we are in the sales part okay um do you like then you can go for an inquire um, now but then also what is nice to do we definitely also recommend that especially also in a b2b environment um okay what kind of itineraries you can combine this experience with and then we are at, at the end and you can read more about um, their uh, wilderbased uh, migration experience with more in-depth blogs.